Meters in front of them, gate four, Caliente just shaking his head. Settles in and away they go from the 1600. I thought Guru's Pride might have been slow half a length and is going to tuck near the back of the field. Cue the music, calling the shots early, sings the tune a length and a quarter. Apache 2 is moving up into second. Euphorics at the rail, Plymouth Rock, Cap and Pride, Gimme Peace, the Bayou. Further back in, the running is Caliente and Guru's Pride is the trailer, about seven lengths off the leader. Cue the music, calling the shots in front a length and a quarter. On the right hand side, Apache 2 racing in second, Euphorics at the rail. Plymouth Rock, the bayou's very wide around them, Cap and Pride, Gimme Peace, Caliente, and Guru's Pride is the back marker at the eight peg and racing nine lengths off. Cue the music, given a little bit more bridle, escapes by two, Apache two second, Euphorics at the rail. Towards the outside, Plymouth Rock, reminders for the bayou to get a length closer, Cap and Pride, Gimme Peace, Caliente. If Guru's Pride wins from there, he can go right to the top because cue the music, burst away by three. Guru's Pride's going to try and run onto the inside. Plymouth Rock on the outside. Cue the music. Guru's Pride is now starting to warm up big time on the inside. Guru's Pride, Plymouth Rock's on the outside. Guru's Pride, Plymouth Rock's coming home late on the outside. But Guru's Pride with the wow factor from Plymouth Rock. Cue the music and Caliente. This is a horse climbing the ladder. He had it all to do and he comes through with flying colours. Well, this is a victory out of the top draw. Guru's pride. He looked a million dollars on the way down to the start. He wins a long neck, but spinning for home, he had it all to do. We've seen him absolutely turn on the engines before, and he's done it again. He's jumped to a 98 handicap, and he wins a neck. Plymouth Rock, cue the music, and Caliente. Warren Kennedy and Guru's Pride, probably a half slow, had to come from the back of the field. Cue the music, got away, Plymouth Rock, but now just look at Guru's Pride. Only having his fourth race course appearance, drifts for a stride or two to the outside, but he wins super impressively, and he can go all the way now. So well done to the team, back to the studio. We'll call that uh, performance of the day, ride of the day, because... Uh, well, uh, Gavin Finzel uh, has uh, been a uh, stable uh, that uh, you could follow from day one when he took out his license uh, many years ago, passed that on to both his sons, uh, Garrett and Chesney. Uh, Chesney, of course, now down under. Uh, Garrett's doing an outstanding job. Uh, the reason I mention this, because he's had some really, really good horses pass through his hands. He's tasted success at the highest level as well. And he'll know a good horse when he sees one. So that's my introduction, Gav, because uh, you given this horse his time off back in May and uh, you brought him back uh, slowly and uh, your patience and uh, your perseverance is him, seems to be paying off handsomely. Thanks, Dees, and thanks for uh, the compliments to Chesley and my son Gareth and Chesley went down to a sale by themselves. Yes. And you know, a father, when he ties his two sons loose, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and they came back and they'd spent, uh, they, the two of them actually found the source there and Chesney bought it. He went and uh, decided to take a gamble and he paid, I think, 375 without an owner. Yes. You know, the two of them, you know, youngsters, they, they've got it. Sure, sure. <laughs> maybe, the the they, maybe the apple didn't fall too far from the tree, <laughs> I don't know. But um, well done to Chesney and Gareth. And um, you know, Chesney's in Australia now, very, very happy. Gareth's doing a great job, as you said. Thanks very much for that. And um, yeah, so nice that uh, Guru Baldawa and uh, Colin Governor Sammy yes. um, were able to you know, come to the rescue there and, and buy the sauce. And well, it's done uh, Guru a lot of proud. And uh, Colin Governor Sammy, you know, he, had, uh, he, was very, uh, yeah, he was very mad when it won first time out without a money on. But um, he's turned out this time now, Colin and Guru, they both had a nice bet. And um, yeah, I think they can look forward to a lot of fun with the sauce. Um, he's really done nothing wrong. He's by the champion sire, Trippy, out of Generous Anna, 
Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's just a lovely horse and he's got a big heart. Like Sheldon said in the, in the commentary while he was calling the race, he said if this horse wins from there, he can go right to the top. And I think under the circumstances, yeah, he, he's, he's pretty much like that. You know, it's, uh, it was a very, very good win. And um, yeah, well done to Warren and well done to the team back home and really grateful to have a horse like this in our hands. We talk about ticking the boxes a lot. He's got a pedigree. You mentioned the stallion. Uh, he's got the looks. We've seen him uh, in the flesh and he's got the ability. Now, those are the three most important boxes uh, when you have a look at a horse. And you can add to that the heart as well. Well, that's the big thing. You know, we all look at horses at the sales, but we don't know what the engine's made up of, you know. So we all, uh, we all know a hell of a lot about nothing at the end of the day. Um, but, you know, if we can get it right sometimes for our owners who dig deep into their pockets, well, that's fantastic. And, um, yeah, if we can get it right more often, you know, we don't get it right more often than not. But, um, you know, if we can get it right for them, it's a fantastic game, this uh, horse racing. It's not easy. It's not for the faint-hearted, but it's, it's an adrenaline rush, second to none. And I'm sure Guru and Colin are busy having a wonderful party. Well, give them our best, Guru and Colin, and well done to yourself and your team. Thanks, Dees. Thanks for the compliments. Okay, all the best uh, with this horse, Guru's pride. Okay, first up, have a look at this guy. He seems to be in the war. What's wrong? What's happening? Dees, that's the perils of cities don't last in trusting your horse. That's what I was going to say next. I mean, this is what happens when you come from the back of the field. Yeah, definitely. But um, like I say, Gavin said to me, just trust him. Ride him the same way, and that's what I did, and he breezed through them. Okay, first up, let's congratulate uh, Warren on winning the Hollywood Best Challenge. They can't get to him. Warren, it was over three months. Yeah. It was uh, something that I'm sure you'd have said, I'd like to tick off my bucket list during this championship. Yeah, most definitely. These, you know, going out there, trying hard on every horse, trying to get as many winners as I can, and when this competition came along, and it's just lovely to to have this competition and thanks very much to Hollywood Bets for, for initiating it and the guys rode hard, it was a hard three months, you know, it was up and down. How was the vibe in the room, in the jockey's room? Very competitive, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all, all having digs at each other but it, it, it's great fun, you know, the guys were really going for it and it was great to see, you know, up and down, lead changing all the time but um, I'm glad I've got it won, you know, it's in the bag now so it was just fantastic to do. I think you skipped at the right time because the other guys left it too late but well done, congratulations on that. Coming back to this horse, I think the flow is yours. Yeah, it is. Look, a lovely horse. Our one is maiden than him. We, we didn't really expect it, but he won really well. He, he didn't beat much, with all due respect, but the manner in which he won was, was, was um, exciting. He followed up again with Serena. You know, I had to go to Joburg for that meeting. Um, and Serena came in, and he, he was very bullish about the horse. I actually saw him work before that run, and I said to Gavin, who was that on the track? He said, that was Guru's part. I said, she's that worked well, you know, and, and he duly obliged for the win, and he's just, he's just a lovely horse, and, you know, Gavin's looked after him really nicely, he's bringing him along the right way, can still improve, this horse is going to improve, and, you know, I just trusted him today, and up against hard knockers, you know, he's been given the rating, was he up to the rating was the question today, and he proved, he proved the, the ratings right, you know, he, 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 he ran a really good race, he won really nicely, he, he quick and so quickly passed him, these, you know, he got up into the second place and, and hit the front, Probably a bit too quickly. I got there too quickly, but he had 52, and I trusted him, and I let him go. And when he let him go, he really quick and smartly. And I probably after the race thought, you know what, I should just let him slide a bit slowly in my hands and and, and trusted him a bit more. But the way they're going is it's a bit sticky, and that where they're going to stop. And and you know, I haven't really been coming from that far behind today. So he quick and nicely. He got there and he put his head down, and and the fight was there. The horse came around right the outside, and and he gave me that fight, which was was lovely to see. One punter, no punters get ahead of themselves. One punter, as you came in, screamed, that's my horse for the Vodacom Durban July. <laughs> What's your take on the distance? Look, these, for, for now, I think I will, I'll chat to Gavin about it. The mile probably looks his best trip for now. Maybe as he gets a bit older, he, he will stay a bit more. But in saying that the mile is his, probably his premium trip, I feel that I could have got there a bit slower on him and, and saved a bit more energy for him to see a bit further out. So we'll go back and, and puzzle about it, and I'll speak to Gavin about it, and then we'll make a decision. But... Um, you know, he's an exciting prospect and he, the sky's the limit with him from now. You know, he, he proved us the rating right today and it was an impressive win. So he really, he got my attention today. So we'll see where we go. Nice one. Thanks very much, Dees. Well done to Gavin. Well done to Mr. Baldo and, and Colin, Gavin, Sammy. And well done to everyone. I know Gavin, the one punty, is probably the one shouting for me. <laughs> yeah. he, he always comes in and, and shouts for me. So I'm very grateful that he deserves one of my caps. He's going to get it after his interview. But um, yeah, thanks very much for all the support and well done to uh, Winnie Form as well. Nice one. Thank you. Lovely. And then uh, the winning groom, uh, the gentleman that takes care of the horse called Guru Pride is uh, Kwanele. Well done to you. And uh, receiving from Nikita Maestri. Thanks, Nikita, for coming down, and well done to the winning groom, Quanele. That's a wrap of race number four.